Decisions, decisions. What should I plant? Should I plant a green giant or should I plant a Leland Cypress? Both trees are excellent trees for the landscape. Both trees make great screening trees, but there are differences. This is a green giant <clears throat> planted next to Leland Cypresses. They were all planted at the same time and the green giant here shows a much denser, fuller conformation than the Leland cypresses. Now these are all planted in a heavy shaded area with a full canopy above them. But they do get about two to three hours in the morning of morning sunlight. But you can see that the Green Giant is a superior tree to the Leland Cypress in the shade. These Lelands have some yellowing on the inner needles and that it was in part caused by stress that they received from last winter. Last winter we had an exceptionally cold winter and many of the Leland Cypresses burned over somewhat. These had some burned and they have recovered to some degree but the Green Giant had no damage to it whatsoever. These plants have been in here for about two years. They were planted when they were three foot high and right now they're between five and six foot high. And so you can see if you're going to plant in a shady location that the Green Giant is a better plant than the Leland Cypress. We at Highland Hill Farm grow thousands of Leland Cypresses and Green Giants and we do recommend both of them for shaded locations. Not full shade but shaded locations. They need a few hours sun a day. But you, as you can see from this video, the Green Giant is a superior plant than the Leland Cypress. This is one of my favorite new arborvitas that's just come out on the market. It's a plant patent number 19267 from Ball Ornamentals. It's called Forever Goldie and it is a western red cedar type of arborvita. We grow these from small liners that we buy. We have to buy these because it's plant patented and we pay a plant patent fee for each arborvita that we grow and raise and sell. We put these in small pots and pot them up and then we will pot them out in the field and we will also have them in larger three gallon pots for sale. This plant is an excellent plant for your patio or the back of a border. It has great orange color in the fall. It's upright, drought tolerant. It's an evergreen featuring scented foliage and it has heat resistance. Oh, what more could you ask for? Yes, it is good for borders, screens, garden beds, landscapes, and large mixed containers. It grows to 15 to 20 feet with a spread of three to four foot. And incidentally, Unlike the Green Giant, which is zone hardy to zone 5, this is zone hardy to zone 4. So it has even better cold hardiness than the Green Giant. So give us a call if you want some at Highland Hill Farm. We're on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. And we do deliver and plant the Forever Goldie Arborvita.